what's up YouTube PJ back with another video and today we're gonna have a quite special video for y'all a video that some of y'all have been asking for and a video that I've been very curious to make but we're going to the track today in the Genesis me I'm going to meet up with Kane at the gas station right quick and to give y'all a little rundown on my car if this is your first video I thank y'all for being here subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but this is basically a full exhaust Genesis with a short ram intake not a cold air intake and just spacers and a tune that's pretty much all i have no weight reduction no drag pack no any of that nothing special and it does come in the manual so we're about to see how good i can shift and just to give you a heads up my previous green genesis has beat 12 second cars not saying it ran a 12 second but I am trying to get this car out of the 14s at least because I hear people tend to run like high 13s, low 14s and these things stock and uh, I'm just trying to get this thing out of the 14s possibly if I can in the low 13s and if I do 12s then y'all have to send this video to your friends and family because I don't even think I'm going to go 12s to be honest with you but let's go ahead and stop all this talking and go meet Kane at the gas station. Them. all right just made it out to the track got all my card and stuff set up we get on the track tonight hopefully we run better than a uh, 14 <laughs> hopefully the first time oh my camera fogged up though I know what happened the night yeah yeah uh, I followed you I was like that's not for me <laughs> I might as well. The first time I got on a track with my Mustang, oh my I believe I ran a 13.5, but that was when I first got it. I was stock eating. All I had was an intake and no smaller pulley or anything. It's just an intake and ran a 13.5, but that was also because I didn't know how to drive either. But yeah, we're going to try to run a 13.5 at least in this thing, and I'll be satisfied. What do you think we're going to run, Kane? I say 13 nine. Hey, you know I'm on the right. I'll drive the last one too. I'm telling you. I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna let my car cool down right quick. I forgot one little Easter egg I gotta do for y'all. Y'all probably noticed if you have a manual Genesis coupe like I do, you can't do a burnout. So what we gonna do? We're gonna get up under here y'all probably can't see you see this is the brake pedal and what we're gonna do is disconnect the sensor so the car won't even know that we're on the brakes whenever we're on the brakes doing a burnout so we disconnect the brake right here and now you should be able to do burnouts without the car freaking out Alright, so I'm back over here. Car should be cool enough to go run this thing on the track. But 
close this thing down. Let me go get into these staging lanes real quick. Alright, so I'm in the staging lane. We're about to see how Dawn runs. I'm beside the Z06. Lord have mercy. Woo, my first run with Dawn. Kind of nervous to be honest. Hope I don't miss any gears. Hope I don't mess anything up. Don't tell me that. Performance shifter gotta go. Dang, what happened a second? How you doing? Appreciate it. A 15 4. It would not go in second. The thing would not go in second, bro. Oh well, first run in the Genesis, I ran a 15.4. I did a terrible takeoff, and second gear would not go in, like it would not engage in second, bro. Would not engage in second. I don't know what it was, but, and so I just let out early. Like I just was over it, cause I knew I ran something bad. But dang, bro, dang. I should have at least ran a 13. Dang, I should have ran a 13. But oh well. I'ma I'm gonna get something to shake. They probably talking about me. Alright, so we're going for attempt attempt number two. Hopefully it goes in the gear. I think that's because I was at like 7,000 RPMs too though. So hopefully it uh Hopefully something shakes.
gear. I need a new shifter or something. Second gear just isn't going in. It's not happy. Or do I just need to change my transmission fluid or something? I don't know. I'm going to do, do all of it, though. Change the transmission fluid and get a new shifter. Because I need something to shake. What did I run? I was in the right lane. Wait, I was in the left lane. Fourteen seven. A fourteen seven. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm kind of disappointed right off. Uh, I think I'm gonna go one more time. Try to get this shifting straight. And after that, I'm gonna. I don't know, I might just call it a night after that. All right, y'all, so it is the next day and I have the ticket slips right here, the time slips, which I ran. I ran a total of six times. The first two were my worst. I actually got better each time I went, so I'm pretty uh, happy about that. And I can't complain about how the car performed with it being my first time out there because there was some driver error. Even though there was some stuff going wrong with the shifter that I have. And I think the transmission was a little bit shaky. And I could fix that with different bushings and getting another shifter. But I don't want this to be too drawn out. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over with these time slips with you guys. But the very first one. I showed y'all whenever I ran, but I did run a 15.4 at 95 miles an hour. And you can see all the different things that I had on the screen. I actually don't want to touch base on any of the previous ones, just my last one, because that was my best one. But the second run, I ran a 14.7 at 100 miles an hour. And like I said, I got a little better. The shifting, I was over revving it a little bit, so it wasn't going into second gear, which was my fault. I should not have let the car spin as much as it did, and it will hop because of it. I also could do better with uh, lowering my tire pressures and getting some new stickier tires that would help, but I just wanted to go to the track, so I didn't worry about any of that. The third run, I did run a 14.2 at 101 mile an hour. The fourth run was a 14.1 at 100 mile an hour. The fifth run was a 14 flat at 102 miles an hour. And this is the one that I wanted to show y'all the most, which was the 13.8. I ran the quarter mile in 13.815 at 103 mile an hour, 0.14. So, with this one, the 60 foot could have been, it could have been better, even though, like I said, I was on street tires. I did not have the pressure down. And my reaction time was a 0.324, which that really doesn't matter unless you're like grudge racing or something like that. That doesn't have anything to do with the time that you finish. That just has something to do with, you know, how quick you are off the line. I feel like my mile an hour that I have in the eighth, which is 84 miles an hour, but I ran a nine second eighth. It could be a bit better, like probably like half a second better or so. But like I said, that comes down with how I have the car set up, how prepared I was to go into the track and all of that good stuff. And the Mustang, my Cobra that I had, my very first run out there, I think all I had was the cold air intake and a smaller pulley and a cat back exhaust. I think that's all I had the first time I went out there. And I ran a 13.5. And <laughs> that saying like how much faster that Cobra was than this car, like let's just face it, that was an 11 second car. And this one, I think it's gonna take a lot for me to get this into 11 seconds and I think it's gonna take a lot actually to get this sub 13s because I mean it's just an NAV6 and I don't know I'm not really on the whole drag racing thing I just wanted to do it because I know that's something y'all would like and that's something that I could just do in the meantime I mean it was just $40 to run for a whole day I can't say I'm mad at the car for how she performed done you're doing pretty good. I like I like how you're coming out, and we just need to 
tighten up a few things and then like next thing you know we're gonna have us a little bad street car but i think that's where i'm gonna end today's video if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down in the section below leave some good vibes and i'll catch y'all in the next video but always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank y'all for watching